Well, Danny, another day back at the stadium, three new signings announced. Must be a great day for everyone. Yeah, I think that we laughed and joked about it earlier, didn't we? The, the past, the present and the future. So the signing Kins on again, he's, uh, he's missed the order shot and he was desperate to, he's desperate to make his 100th appearance here and he, he really wanted to do that last season and he was devastated with the injury and I think he, he genuinely sees what we're trying to do here and he didn't hesitate when, when it comes to activating the option and Jamie, Jamie Sendles white is a, is a fantastic addition to the squad. He's someone that we've been tracking for a long time and as soon as the opportunity came up, we just, we just did it. We didn't even think twice about it. So, and then obviously securing Reese Wiley. Reese has got a really bright future in the game and I think it's a great sign for the club that we're protecting what is our future and, and that's our academy players. So it, it sends good messages out in all three departments. Yeah, and especially with Kins, you know, like you said, travelling three hours today to come down and get everything sorted. There's that sort of extra mile in players that you wanted for next season. That's the mantra we've tried to create all along. We want players that want to be here. We want players that want to play for the badge. We want players that want to make the supporters of this club proud. And I think the players that we've signed so far and we've, we've managed to retain as well, all epitomise that and no, no more than Kins. I mean, he's been up there having his injection in his knee to ensure that he's ready for the start of the season. And he wanted to be here last week to do it. It's just unfortunately with, with, with traffic and, and people's commitments, we couldn't do it. But he was desperate to come in. And I think that if we can maintain that, add the quality that we are adding, that we, we, we're going to be in a good position come start of the season. And with Reese Riley as well, you know, fans have got another one of our own to chant for hopefully next season. Yeah, I feel for Reese, and because at the end of last season, he would have definitely played more games if we'd have finished the season. He would have played, he'd have made his debut and he'd have been involved. And so it's a tough one because that was the plan. Um, we wanted to integrate him into the, into the starting lineup because the boy's is, the boy's is a good talent. He's a special talent. So when, when I spoke to, with his, his, uh, his dad and his agent and Reese came in himself and we had a good chat, all of the rumours about where he could be going and all this kind of stuff, they, they were never ever an issue in his head because he knew where he wanted to play his football next season. So delighted to have him on board. And obviously we've got that low, high level of quality we've been looking for on a defender in Jamie Sanders white as well. Must be great to get him on board. Yeah, as I said, we tried to we tried to bring Jamie in last season and he went into Crawley and and, and he did a great job for them and look judging by the social media um, sort of comments, I think they're sad to see him go. But as as one of their own fans said, their loss is, is our gain and he brings an element of maturity to the squad which we probably lacked a little bit last season. He brings a real power, which he's got uh, experience and, as you said, quality. So, if we can if we can maintain that kind of level of recruitment, then I'm, I'll be very pleased with our business. And looking back on what you've been up to and the plans for next season, you and I are in a Zoom call with a number of season ticket holders. What is your take on that? Do you know what? It was an amazing evening, and I can't thank the supporters enough for being on there because we was on for over three hours. And one, their patience because obviously it was a long evening, but two, their 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 obvious passion for the club because some of the ideas that we came out with. So obviously, those who don't know, we, we had, uh, we, want, we want to look about how we can boost the budget without actually saying it's a booster budget campaign. Mm. So the ideas around mate, raising funds that's sustainable for the club, not just a begging bowl, as people have, have, have talked about in the previous, previous regimes, etc. We wanted to make sure that we had a, a philosophy in place where we can actually source more income. Um, we've set a target of the amount of money that we want to raise and we're looking at all the different avenues in which we can do that. So it was an amazing night and I will be catching up with them again on another Zoom call probably either at the end of this week, beginning of the next, to see what we've done and how we can progress from there because we need the money. Um, and it's not any detriment to the, to the club and the work they've done because they've done an amazing job to give us the budget that we've got. But I think that everyone can understand that probably the predicament the club's in at the minute with regards to... COVID-19 and everything that's going on in the world. So if we can boost it, it only adds the quality on the pitch and hopefully everyone reaps the rewards of that. And it's been another Tuesday, another three signings. What can fans expect next week or over the next few days? Um, it'll be, anything we do will be next Tuesday. Um, we've got a, a fantastic photographer in Ian Moresman and he can, he can do uh, Tuesdays at the moment because of his other work commitments and we want to make sure that he looks after us from that perspective. So watch this space next Tuesday. Are you in with a shot? This week's winner is... 
<laughs> for more information, click the link below. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe.